So I have all nights of Elizabeth's table. My name is Sir Lot and welcome to day, I can't believe I'm about to say this, 25 of Autismus. It, that's right. Who would have thought that, I, my, I never even thought that I would make it to this point, but here we are, 25 videos, a, a video a day for 25 days in a row. I never would have thought this day would come. Like, I, I, I like, I'm shook. <laughs> but yeah. As, as many of you know, it is currently Christmas Day by the time I'm by the time, by the time I'm recording and uploading this, and well, <laughs> I'm just so happy right now. Like, I mean, it, it's Christmas. How can I not be happy? So yeah. So to end autism on a high note, we, I usually do this every year. For those who haven't seen the past three autisms, I usually end with this kind of video over day twelve. So basically, if you have, if you, for those who have been with auti with me since the beginning of Autismus 2017, you know that I end my video with this every year. And that is a holiday haul, or as I like to call it, what my household got me for Christmas this time around. So yeah, and this year, well, I had a lot of really cool things, and I'd like to share it with you guys right now. So let's get started. Starting with these PJs, honestly, because I got these last night as, like, holiday PJs. They basically have, like, Serengeti animals. Like, they have, like, an elephants, rhinos, giraffes, all wearing Christmas hats. And, I got pants to match. <laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely love these PJs. I think they're the best ones I've ever gotten. And my family got the same pair, so, win. <laughs> it's a win, win. <laughs> Now, on to the real gifts. Well, this is a real gift. You know what I mean. Alright, let me move these real quick. So the first gift I actually got this holiday season, I kind of got it early because, well, here's a little backstory. My little sister actually got the package from UPS for me and my mom. And it turns out she read the label, and my mom turns out it was the gift for me. And I know this doesn't seem exciting for most people, but for me, it really is. It is a 2021 calendar from Speranza Animal Rescue. Now, for those who don't know what that is, they're basically an animal rescue team on Facebook, and they're based in um, Pennsylvania, I think? Yeah. But basically, they're based in Pennsylvania, and they do a lot of good things for animals in need. Like, they rescue a bunch of dogs. And this ca and this is one of their calendars that they made this for next year. The other one was the farmland animals, but this but this one has all sorts of rescue dogs that are on that are on the animal are at the animal rescue, like here. here's Dexter. <laughs> but I'm but and I would show you all of them, but not th I don't know. But I I will show you another one that I, the, the one I've been following since I want to say three, two years at, at least, and, okay, so here's a little backstory for you guys, sorry if you hear my nephew crying in the background, there's nothing I can do about it, he's a little hungry, he's hangry, so basically, my mom and I were watching this animal, we were watching Speranza on, her, on a Facebook live stream, the girl behind it, her name's Janine, she's an amazing person in the world, she's, she has a big heart. She basically was rescuing this dog, and on a live stream, on, on my, and my mom was watching it on Facebook, and my mom and I were glued to the live stream all day and all night. She, she basically spent 24 hours trying to catch this dog, and honestly, I don't have a Facebook personally, so I watch it on my mom's phone, but... But when, when, my, when my mom has kept me updated with with this with this pooch since, like every time she, the the Speranza Facebook page shows a picture of this dog, my mom takes a screenshot of it, crops it, and then sends it to me to make to make me smile. And that dog, I just dropped all my presents. That dog is Jersey Boy. <laughs> Look how beautiful he is. Ah, uh, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy she that Janine was able to catch Jersey Boy because, well, yeah, and, and, oh, uh, 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 yeah, 
One thing about this, about Jersey Boy and the other dogs on this calendar, they can't be adopted. They're only, they're only like, they're only like attached to like certain. They have their certain people they get along with. Everyone else, they, everyone else, they try to dominate them. I don't know, but yeah, Jersey Boy is one of them. So they, he can't be adopted. He cannot be adopted. Unfortunately, but yeah, he's with he's with Speranza and Janine forever, basically. I absolutely love that calendar. The next gift I got was from okay, was from my sisters, and well, I'm gonna start off with my little sister this time around. I don't well last night I me, me and my sisters usually do a sibling gift exchange, and well I opened my older sisters first, but I'll save that for the next for next one. My little sister got me a Funko Pop of Rattata, the fuck the Pokemon, the fun a Funko Pop of Rattata. That is, I think it's so cool. So let's open it real quick. He's pretty good size. Wow. So here's Rattata. He's pretty good size too. Wow, that's a that's pretty cool actually. I'm not gonna lie. And I I honestly wanted wanted to buy Rattata. Like my older sister and I were were was it a, my older sister pre-ordered Rattata, Cubone, and Growlithe from GameStop. Still haven't received the shipment. How dare you, GameStop? Anyway, yeah, I know GameStop is known for their horror stories, but that's a, my first horror story with GameStop. Anyway. So base, but yeah, my I guess my little sister found it for me because I've been wanting it since like May. It's been like seven months, Jesus. Anyway, the next gift is for my a little older sister and her now and her and her boyfriend who is now becoming who is now her fiance. Literally, he proposed. Would show a clip, but it's personal. Yeah, and it, this might seem like an ordinary gray box, but. On the inside, it's what's inside that counts. Because in this box we have. Ta da! It's a computer mouse made to look like an NES controller. It's by 8 bit Doe. It is the 8 bit Doe N30 wireless mouse. It's a gaming mouse. That's, it's basically a computer mouse that's made to look like an NES controller. I thought that was so cool. I, I saw this last year, but. Oh, cool! So the D-pad on the side is used for page up, page down, backward, and forward. That is so cool. That's pretty cool, actually. So yeah. So yeah, you basically can like play games on it, or so basically this is the scroll button. Although I, I don't know what I think I heard that the scroll button was like in the middle somehow. I don't know, but I thought that was pretty cool. I saw this like last year, but by the time I heard about them, they were sold out everywhere. Like on the 8 bit Doe website and on Amazon. So I was kind of bummed out. But then when I heard about these again this year, and I know they were in stock, my older sister got it for me. Thanks, Liz. And now we get to the gifts that are from my mom and dad. Mm. <laughs> I don't know where to start, honestly. <laughs> I know this is a little less, but again, I'm a hard person to shop for. So yeah, like, like I said in day, what was that? 19s? The, whatever whatever video I, when, well, when I showed when my mama got me, I, like I said in that video, I'm a hard shopper. So, let's get started with the stuff that isn't clothes and candy. So, first thing we got here, let me pick off something randomly. There we are. We got Dead Rising 3 on Xbox One. Now I actually asked for this game because I have well even I, I haven't I have a confession to make, I've never actually played any of the Dead Rising games. And yet I have Dead Rising 2 in my library of Xbox 360 games. I know, I know, I haven't gotten to that yet. But the one thing I worry about Dead Rising 2 is, well, the time limits. But thankfully with Dead Rising 3 it's more lenient with the time constraints. That's always a good thing. So I think I'll get I'll play that eventually. Hopefully. 
Next thing I got, let's go with this one. Now, as many of you know, I got a new phone the other, the other day, a few, a few months ago, and I noticed a little flaw with it. There's no headphone jack. Like, like I just bought these headphones by Skull Candy, and then I got a new phone, and then a few, a few days later. And the, and the iPhone 11 doesn't have a headphone jack, so I have to get wireless. So now I have to get wireless headphones, or I used to, because my mom got me these Logo iJoy headphones. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a USB charging. They charge? This is the iJoy Matte Finish Premier headset with mic and the Stealth. That sounds cool. But it's basically a premium wireless headset. Got some scissors. Let's open it. There. I did that right. I did. Alright, let's see what they look like. Alright. So these are the headphones. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Hmm. That's pretty cool, actually. So I gotta plug him in every time, apparently. Well. At least they come with a jack, like a 3.5 millimeter jack, in case you want to go wired. And, oh, charging cable, that's cool. So yeah, those are the headphones. I'll, um, I'm going to lay them here for now. I'm going to put this back in the bag. Next gifts we got, well, I'm just going to show them together. They are two other Funko Pops that are also Pokemon. Vaporeon and Flareon. I, 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 ever since I heard about these guys, I knew I had I knew I wanted to buy them. But by the time I heard about them, it was October, which is too close to Christmas, so I had to wait. And you're probably wondering, where's Jolteon? Um, my mom and my older sister had a hard time by finding Jolteon, so they just got Vaporeon and Flareon. That's what I thought. So here's Vaporeon. Oh, this looks so cool. That looks amazing. I just dropped Flare now. That looks so cool. Hmm. Leave that there. Now let's get Flare on now. I want to see what he looks like for sure. As you know, I'll tell, I'm a big fan of Evolutions. So here's Flare on. Wow, he looks really detailed. That's so cool. Next, I think that that's pretty much everything uh, that isn't food or candy. Well, well, actually, there is one more game thing. It's actually a board game, which is Clue: The North Pole Edition. And they're basically they're basically like it's basically the iconic board game Clue, like a murder mystery game, except everyone in Santa's village is ready for the big day until uh oh, the presents go missing. Six elves under suspicion. And instead of Colonel Mustard, we have Custard Cake. And we have Holly Sprig. Instead of Mr. Green, we have Pine Wreath. Instead of Professor Plum, we have Plum Tart. There's Jolly Bell and Glitterberry. Rather interesting. Surprised there's no Mrs. White. I'm going to name her Snowbell or something. I don't know. But that's pretty cool. Next, um, well, we got some candy. We got a... Kit Kat, candy cane. That's pretty cool. Also got a juice brush. Very, very thrilling stuff here. I got some gift cards from Taco Bell and iTunes so I can play Pokemon Go more. I desperately need Pokeballs. <laughs> um, yeah. And then the next thing we have here is just some clothes. I would go over everything. Well, I'm, I'm going to go through most of the things, but I'm not going to show you the socks and underwear because that's kind of boring and personal. I got these new house shoes. Well, I had to get a new pair of house shoes because, well, the last pair I had kind of got ruined. Um, I went outside to get one of my dogs out of the, to get my, one of my dogs inside and I, they were because they were barking at the neighbors and I accidentally stepped in one of their poops. Gross, I know. And then when I went to wash them off, I laid them in the laundry tub for my 
for, for the washer, and then I left them in there, and somebody started the washer. They got soaked. So yeah, and moldy after, after a while, so I got a new pair. Next thing I got were these, I got a new pair of pajama pants. I know I'm very boring, I know they're kind of boring, but I like them, they're really cool. Then I also got these other pajama pants, and for those who know me, I have four dogs. They have my dog, they have like a black lab on them, which is half of what my dog Coda is. He's a black lab, basset hound mix. He's like a black lab, but with the legs of a basset hound. It's very cool. He's very cute. And I got him on my pajama pants then. Yeah. Anyway, next we got this jacket, because I love, freaking love zip up hoodies. I only have two though, that fit properly, like the Taco Bell one and the NES one. I've seen them a few times on my channel. But this one, it's just a plain old white hoodie. Still very cool though. Very warm and stuff. Now, I think I saved the best gift for last. It is a shirt, but it is also YouTuber merch. I... I can't wait to I can't wait to show this. My mom actually ordered me this, like a suit. Like this is only available for two weeks. Keep in mind, and my mom actually bought it for me. Like, and she wasn't even expect. And there were so many orders in the back back then that she was she was worried it wouldn't be here by Christmas. Like they had to make some shirts in advance and send them out early. I think I was among one of them. Let's do one of them. I absolutely love this. So yeah, this might look. This is the back of the shirt, by the way. But this is a piece of YouTuber merch my mom bought for me. I'm so happy for this because you're probably wondering why am I happy for this shirt, and that is because because his name is Corey Kenshin. I got Corey Kenshin merch. I'm so happy. I got the samurai like Shogun shirt with the with the Swedish fish koi fish. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh! When I when I when I when I when I got this out of the out of the packaging for for literally the Christmas the gift bag, I I wanted to like burst into tears. I was so happy, like I was I was so thrilled. Like I wanted to cry. Like I I don't even Corey Kenshin is like the reason I started my YouTube channel like all those years ago. Like, my second video was a challenge video to him. For, like, a bot. It was just a bottle flip challenge. I absolutely love this shirt. You're gonna... I think next video, in the new year, I'm definitely gonna be wearing this for the first video of 2021. So, yeah. I'm so happy. Literally ecstatic. So, yeah. So, yeah. But with, but with that being said, that is all of the Christmas gifts I got for this holiday season. Hey fellow knights, um, edit our hands a lot here. So, I was in the middle of editing this video that you're seeing right now when my little sister and my brother-in-law walked in and they accident they forgot to give me a gift that, 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 um, my little sister was meant to give and they kind of forgot about it. This is Zuzi the Sloth. She is a Sensi buddy from my old, older sister's business. For those who know, I love sloths. And she basically has a scent pack sugar cookie and yeah so yeah this this is a gift that my older that my little sister kind of forgot to give me it's not edited it in here just so you guys know all right back to the outro and that concludes autismus 4.0 2020 edition i really hope you guys enjoyed this series this was a lot of work, and some days I'd be like, what am I doing with my life? I just, why, do I, why don't I just quit now? Because, well, between between uh, the stress of coming out with a video and having to change the plans and spam comments, basically made me want to made me rethink my he, he being here on YouTube, but now that I actually got 25 days of autismus done, I can relax and enjoy Christmas with my family, as I'm sure some of you guys are doing right now. I really hope you enjoyed this holiday season and this video. If you did, drop a like like you're dropping the bass. Wow, wow. And you know, give it all scrubbing and you'll smizzity smack. And I'll see you fellow knights in 2021.
dudes. Happy holidays.